So our first speaker of Act Two is a comedian, an activist, an uninhibited wanderer. She is a good girl behaving badly, apparently. <laughs> on occasion, on occasion. Vanity and dry wit are her trademarks, shocking the world with insight about how we are all doing the same stuff in different ways. Please welcome Adora Nofor. Adora Nofor. <laughs> Wonderful try, though. I appreciate it. My stuff is going to be on the top because, I don't know if you noticed, I'm a black woman. <laughs> Viola Desmond, she is the first black woman to go to trial and win her human right to exist and be black, only because she wanted to see the movie she paid for. She is on our $10 bill now. I wonder if that's equal to her 10 cents that she paid. Anita Hill, another black woman who was put on trial by society when she was vilified for saying her truth. Clarence Thomas sexually harassed her in the workplace. We know where he is now. Hmm. Another black woman, Andrea Constant. She was on trial and she won against America's favorite dad. <laughs> Very soon, he's going to be behind bars. Uh, this is me with the big hair versus a cop. I'm on trial as an activist face to face with the biggest officer and the only black one. I cried because I know that I'm fighting for his rights too, and I wish he understood. OJ, yes, old folks, the biggest trial of our lives to date, <laughs> where a black man got off. You remember how you felt when you heard, I think the gloves fit. <laughs> For so many who also heard a quit. Dr. Christine Blasey Ford will never get a trial, part of why I only say her name and do not show her face. She deserves anonymity. That's what she asked for, and she is on trial by ordeal. She will survive. My hope is that she thrives. Facebook, you'll find me there. Adora Omofor, A-D-O-R-A-N-W-O-F like Frank O-R. <laughs> uh, people will want me to provide evidence of what I say about my humanity for a jury of strangers to determine my humanity and fate. I see you watching Facebook. I haven't been to your jail yet. Uh, I love this photo. I posted it on Facebook and I was on trial because I'm on a throne. <laughs> Perfectly perched. I'm royalty anywhere I sit and for sure royalty sits. <laughs> Issa Rae, she was tried child because of these words. But did you ever think back to when it was only white people at the Emmys or the Grammys and you were rooting for everyone? My personal passports, the green one is the newest. As a first generation Canadian, I was so upset by Bill C-24. I put my privilege to the test because my ethnicity and nationality may not be the same but they can never be separated. Niger can for life. This is my family I rarely share. But just like my heritage and documents, we belong together. I'm often on trial for choosing to be a single parent, but I'm unapologetic. No explanation necessary. We go together, we don't have to match. This meme, ooh. My behavior is forever being judged as an angry black woman. Maybe there's evidence I'm misbehaving, but I say, good girl, behaving badly, on occasion, 
as we all should be. This is me leading the Women's March 2018. I put myself on trial. That's my resist fro. <laughs> I didn't think I could do it. And I did it 2017 and 2018. I did it even better the second time. Two wins for this bitch. <laughs> this bitch, some say I am just like a man in a dress. It doesn't matter because she's hot. But I put him on trial for transphobia, not cute. Trans women are women and I'm unbothered. <laughs> Sweet black Jesus. Here I am again, proving I'm vain, because I got a lot of pictures of myself. <laughs> I put my abs to the test, they were on fire, and I prove that I am fat, old, black, and a model, a triple threat. <laughs> oh, the food trial. Yes, I do not look hungry, and I'm never, I will never allow anyone's judgment of me from to stop me from chopping a goosey. Typical Nigerian food. Stop putting unfamiliar, unfamiliar food on trial. Try it, it's delicious. Oh, that doesn't look good. That's my actual ass. I put myself to the test. I don't just preach body positivity, I live it. Want to call me fat? I embrace it. Because fat looks good. Um, if anybody can hook me up with this hair, I'm ready. Uh, dreads have always been seen as unkempt and unprofessional, but I'm ready to be put on trial for it in blue. I can do anything with class. Even these boots. <laughs> yeah, for all the people who look for evidence I'm too tall, I'm guilty, and my vagina is always at the correct height. <laughs> because she can perform at any height. For those who demand my heels come off, I am the judge of when, if at all. So, as always, my funny comes out. Yes, I'm a comedian and I'm very serious. As you see here, I can do more than one thing at a time, in heels, making people safe, and holding the mic, making any noise that I choose. My name is Adora Wolfor. Thank you for listening. <laughs>